Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Tab back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be talking about, guess what? Triple threat, but, 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 there is a big but, but not only triple threat, what I think 2K has done this season with Vault Odds, okay, we're going to be talking about that. We're also going to be talking about the event right now that 2K is running and just kind of my thought process behind what 2K is doing behind the Vault Reward Danny Ferry. But before we dive into this, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 70,000 subscribers. So the first thing I'm going to say is the times you guys see right here are all central times. So by the time you guys see this video, I mean, you guys know the, the times here. So it's 5 o'clock Eastern time to 7 o'clock Eastern time is the next one. Then 9 Eastern to 11 Eastern is the last one. These are central times here. Take advantage of the double vault opportunities. I want to start off by saying that. You got to make sure you take advantage of those today. Leads me to my point. 2K has upped the vault odds on Galaxy Opal Danny Ferry. They have. There is no doubt about it. No question about it. They've updated the vault odds of Danny Ferry. Now, I don't know if they just gradually update throughout the season. If uh, I don't know. I don't know how that works. But you guys might be wondering, no, Ty. They don't, they don't nerf the odds. They don't up the odds. Okay, listen to this. Hear me out. The last three or four days, I've had so many different people send me that they got Danny Ferry. So many different people. I've talked about it in my No Money Spent episodes. I've had so many different people, you know, DM me, yo, Ty, Ferry's here, yo, Ty, this is my third Ferry. So many different people just DM me about Danny Ferry. Leads me to my next point. I hop on today, took advantage of this triple threat vault, and in my 21st vault open, I do believe that was right, I pulled Danny Ferry. Immediately when that happened, I went crazy. Obviously, I was super, super excited to get Galaxy Open Danny Ferry. Now, one thing crossed my mind. One of my buddies, C-Mars, in the community had played over 1,200 games to get Danny Ferry. And I texted him. I said, hey, man, I just got Danny Ferry. There's a double vault event going on right now. You might as well try to play it for a little bit and see if you can get Ferry. The first game he played today, he got Danny Ferry. I, you can't tell me on the 1,239th game that he played, he just randomly got Danny Ferry. You can't tell me they did in the same day that I got my Danny Ferry that people have been in my DMs the last or adding me on Twitter the last three or four days talking about, oh, Todd, Danny Ferry's here. Even today, I've seen a ton of Danny Ferry's. You cannot sit here and tell me that 2K has not upped the odds for this Galaxy Opal Danny Ferry. Now, it goes, it brings me back to the point. Does 2K always do this? Was this the case with Terry Dishinger? Was Terry Dishinger's odds up throughout the season? And does this just completely disregard the, the you know, Matt Ty the Science Guy videos that I do on how many games it takes on average to get the card? Because if they're adjusting odds as we go, maybe nerfing them for the weekends for Michael Jordan, you know, they we've already seen it. They nerf how much the vault opens. So is it just, is it all a game with 2K? Is 2K playing the game within the game by, you know, switching it up with us, uh, switching the vaults up? But here's the thing. I can't say I'm mad at 2K uh, for, for what's going on, but I would just like more transparency. And what I mean by that is if the odds of pulling Danny Ferry when the vault opens at the first day, point, you know, 0.5%. Let's say that's the odds of Danny Ferry coming out of your vault. Okay, if it's 0.5%, that's fine. Tell us that, okay? Just like the pack odds that you guys see here, we know what the pack odds are going to be. So here's my thing. Tell us what the triple threat offline vault uh, odds are going to be. What's the odds of me getting one token out of the vault badge pack? What are the odds of the vault opens? Tell us all of that. Be more transparent. If there's an event and the vault odds get nerfed, tell us that so we know what we're doing. But here's, here's my biggest thing, my biggest takeaway. The odds maybe went from 0.5%, let's say, let's say one out of 200 vaults that were open pulled Danny Ferry. Let's just say that. I think it was a little less than that, but let's just say that at the start of the season. Okay, that's fine. Now I guarantee every 2% of the vaults that are open is, is about Danny Ferry. I almost guarantee it right now in this current day that almost 2% of the vaults open are Danny Ferry. Now, that leads me to my last point. The odds are nearly four times better, I would say, right now than at the start of the grinding period for Danny Ferry. That's just my prediction right now. It's hard for me to say it's confirmed, but at the start of the season, it was rare, and I know people were grinding it to see people get Danny Ferry. Now I got people literally going crazy on Twitter. It's my third Danny Ferry. I got Danny Ferry after three games. First game on, I got Danny Ferry. I got Danny Ferry. Seymour's got Danny Ferry in his first game. 
it's just all coming kind of together to to my point in which the odds are so much better right now i don't know if it's gonna last but right now during this specific event these odds are incredible that leads me to my last point let's say the odds are four times as good right now out of each vault consider that with the double vault event you're at least five times more likely to pull danny ferry today than three or four weeks ago you just are i promise you that 2k didn't release the vault odds they didn't say vault odds are better but i know for a fact that vault odds are better today and maybe in a couple days past than ever before and again, again take advantage of this double vault event because uh, it's probably the last chance you guys are gonna have to have that especially for danny ferry who goes away may 7th i think a big reason 2k does this is because they want people to have the opportunity to get Danny Ferry. Because after May 7th, you will not have another opportunity to get Danny Ferry. He's gone just like Terry Dishinger. Have we seen another opportunity to get him? We haven't had another opportunity to get the dentist. So that's what I'm trying to tell you guys is take advantage of this opportunity, guys. The vault odds are increased. The, the double vault event is incredibly good. Just take advantage of it as a whole. That's what I would encourage each and every one of you to do. I woke up this morning, saw the double vault event. I thought back. I said so many people lately, especially like in, in the past three or four days, have been getting Danny Fair. I was like, I'm going to try to get him today. My 21st vault, he came out. Mars's first vault, he came out. And like I said, people on Twitter even today have just been constantly going crazy. Oh, Ty, I pulled in my third one. Ty, Danny Fair, I got him today. So many people have been getting him. So that's something I would encourage you guys to do as I get it. Earlier this season, he probably was a fake card for the majority of us. Like, it was so almost nearly impossible to get Danny Ferry. But now they updated odds. I promise you they have. I'm like, I think within the game, like 2K is not going to come out and say we nerfed odds for the MJ weekend of the vault opening. I'll do the research. I'll say they nerfed odds. I've compiled my research by seeing how many people have gotten him the past few days compiled with me getting him in my 21st vault cmars with the first vault it's not just a coincidence I, it's just impossible that it's a coincidence with how the odds were earlier this season so that's just my thing is i wish 2k was more transparent i get it danny Ferry was a lot better at the start of the season and a lot more valuable at the start of the season than he is now so i'm fine if you make the odds a lot harder at the start of the season but just be more transparent with us as a community maybe in next season maybe in next season tell us what the odds are at the start of the season compared to further on down the list that's just the thing i would personally like 2k to do let me know down below in the comments what would you guys like as far as transparency wise in triple threat offline because we've seen it when when the boards are juiced or when danny fairy's on online like the odds change we've seen it before the odds of vaults opening the odds of what you pull out of us it just completely changes so i wish 2k would be transparent and tell us because otherwise we don't even know if it's worth grinding or not like the average person that doesn't know anything about the game is not going to know right now that Danny Ferry is more common of a pull than at the start of the season. But I'm I'm willing to tell you guys, I would bet so much money that 2K adjusted the odds at some point throughout the season. I can't pinpoint a time, but I will say about the start of May is when I really started noticing I got added on Twitter a ton for people who got Danny Ferry. Again, I'm just, I'm just giving you guys my opinion and my honest opinion. There's no facts behind this it's just statistics that lead me to my hypothesis you know i'm smart i'm a math guy okay i'm not a math guy but i went to high school okay i went to did some college okay so i know what a hypothesis is in mine is that 2k has changed the odds of danny ferry multiple times throughout this season let me know down below in the comments if you guys agree with me guys drop a like on the video remember grind for danny ferry if you don't have him during these specific time slots because your double is likely to get the card to be honest with you drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and as always man i love you guys and have a blessed day